What is going on guys? I'm Marvin here and welcome to start of season 3 of Rex to Riches Bradford City FC. The last time Bradford City was in the championship was in the year 2004 and since then right, we have actually spent 26 years spending our time you know in League 1 and League 2 and after I took over as the manager of Bradford City we actually managed to get a back-to-back -back promotion from League 2 all the way to the championship. So hopefully you know this season we are going to be able to stay put you know and avoid relegation. That is the only thing I'm asking for. Avoid relegation stay in the sky bet championship that's all guys that's all and to do that i've actually signed nine new players for the team but before we meet any of them let's talk about the players that have actually left the club when you look at the list over here you guys will realize that all of these deals are actually loan deals yes guys i'm actually having trouble to sell players i really don't know what's going on but it is super frustrating but regan henry is the only player that i've actually managed to send on a loan with an optional future fee Regan Henry have actually joined Dundee United for one year loan deal with an optional feature fee of 2.3 million. Okay, so if you guys have actually watched this series, you know, from the first episode, you guys will know that Regan Henry was actually our captain. Okay, but when you look at his attribute, when you look at his current ability, right, he's not good enough to play in the championship anymore. He have actually declined as a player, you know, for the past one year. His physical are atrocious. He's 32 years old. And I really hope that Dundee United will trigger the optional feature fee next season or else. I will have to wait until his, you know, until his contract with us ends in another two more years and release him on a free. All right, guys. So when you look at the release play over here, right, you guys will actually see that there are some household names that actually played for us regularly last season. You know, such as you know Ryan Stuck. Ryan Stuck was actually a very good player for us. You know, in League One last season. I know his average rating doesn't show that great, but he was a utility man. You know, he actually had 19 start in League One. You know, a total of 29 appearances, but he was actually asking for quite a lot of money you know for him to extend the contract with us um yeah i was just not having it you know because yeah i don't think he's good enough you know when you look at his current ability he's not good enough at all and finn cousin dawson is also one of the player he was actually a vice captain you know for two seasons but also the same thing i know he actually played quite well for us you know in league two and league one but when you look at his current ability you know his attributes and everything right he's not good enough to play in the championship as you guys know you know the gap between you know, the gap of quality between League One and Championship, right, is massive. So, yeah, and for him to extend the contract, he was asking for almost 600k, if I'm not mistaken. You know, so, yeah, I was not going to pay him that money. Okay, Ben Wayne is a player that I, to be honest, I'm really not happy letting him, you know, releasing him. But he was actually asking for 1.1 million per year for him to extend the contract for us. He was actually a very good, a very, uh, how to say, consistent goal scorer for us you know in league two and league one but i i was certain that he was not going to be able to make that jump to the championship okay so yeah if you look at him right you know i know he actually played in the world cup if you guys if you guys have actually see over here you know two appearances in world cup 6.55 average rating and yeah even now until now you know it's been third of august and no one have actually made an offer for him so you guys can see right the difference you know their quality and all and jay turner cook is also one of the player that I don't think was good enough, you know, for him to be in our club. Okay, so last season, he actually spent half of the season in Chesterfield in League 2. And even then, he did not play well for them. You know, for us, you know, in, in my first season, right, as the, as the manager of, you know, Bradford City, he was actually a very, very good attacking midfielder, you know, for us. You know, actually having, you know, 15 goal contribution in League 2. So, hopefully, there's going to be a League 2 team that will actually sign him on a permanent deal. And, yeah, I, I, you know, I think League 2 is actually his... You know his place and Sian Ashford is also one of the players. To be honest, he was really not that great as well. You know, we actually signed him on a free transfer as a utility man on the attacking midfielder position. He was always, you know, on the bench. Um, uh, yeah, even last season he only made you know seven appearances in total in League One. So of course I was not gonna extend his contract. Okay, so now that we have talked about the players that have actually left the club, right? Let's talk about the players that I have sign okay so the first place that i'm going to talk about is faustino and jorin okay it's Angerin, sorry not Angerin. okay so this player right okay if you guys have actually played football manager 24 right you guys will know that he is somewhat of a wonder kid i'm not saying that he is a world beater or anything like that but he is normally good you know he's normally good but in this universe right when you look at his career this his career have actually derailed so he was actually released by Chelsea in 2025 and he went and spent three years in Nigeria playing for, you know, Remo Stars. I'm not sure about this club. If there's any Nigerian watching, you know, do let me know, you know, what club is this? 
I've never heard of them. Okay. All right. So, you know, he spent three years in Nigeria and Middlesbrough, you know, three seasons back, uh, sorry, two seasons back, they actually signed him on a free transfer. And, you know, in his first season, he actually made nine appearances, scored one goal, 6.65 average rating. Last season, not a single appearances for Middlesbrough. Okay. So, yeah, not a good season for him. His career has actually derailed. He's 28 years old. But for me, for me, right, guys, he is an upgrade to our left winger position. Okay, I know you guys must be thinking, am I, am, am I high or what? You know, telling that he's good. He is better than our left winger option. Okay, so last season, right, if you guys know, okay, our best left winger was actually Jake Young. Okay, so let me show you guys the comparison. And Jorin is better than him. You know, he's an overall better winger than him. You know, overall better player. He have, he is basically faster. His physicals are better. His visions are better as well. Okay, even when I even when I compare him to Harrison Wood, right? Harrison Wood is also one of our left winger. He is way better than Harrison Wood, guys. So you know, we actually sign him. We actually sign him on a you know ten k fee. You know, it is actually a bargain, and we are only paying him about two hundred and thirty four thousand per year. And when you look at his current ability, he's a decent Sky Bat Championship player. The only thing I'm worried about is that he doesn't enjoy big matches and he is massively injury pro. When you look at his injury histories, right? To be honest, guys, I will be honest. Okay, I did not look at his injury history, you know, before our what before I signed him. Okay, so when I looked at when I'm looking at it right now, right, it is a little bit of a concern. So hopefully, you know, we will try to. You know, we will try to, you know, be a little bit more, more careful with him. And hopefully, you know, he won't get any major injury, you know, playing for us. Okay, so we have a new defensive midfielder here. And that player is Tom Davis. The reason I signed him, I know he's 32 years old and all. We're actually paying him a massive salary. You know, it's a two-year contract. But the reason I actually signed him is because he has tons of experience, you know, playing in the championship. Okay, so he have actually played a total five seasons. You know, in the championship from Bristol City and Sheffield United as well, you know, for one time. Okay, so yeah, I really believe that this guy, he is a massive, he is a massive upgrade to our defensive midfielder position. Okay, so when you, when you compare him to Jan Bagu Adila, right, who was actually our starting defensive midfielder last season. Yeah, you can, you guys can actually, you know, you guys can let me know who do you think is better. You know, obviously it's Tom Davies, right, when you look at the polygon. So yeah, he have experience playing in championship. You know, he's 32 years old. You know, we have a fairly young squad. And, you know, he loves big matches. Uh, sorry, you know, he's a, he's a super consistent player. I really believe that he will be able to do a good job in our midfield this season. All right, guys, so we have a new goalkeeper in the name of Josh Clark. You guys won't believe how much I actually signed him for, you know. I actually signed him for a measly 4,700 from Linfield from Northern Ireland. And to be honest, I really don't know what he was actually doing in Northern Ireland. He have spent... You know, he has spent his time, you know, uh, you know, being in Scotland as well. To be honest, he's a super good goalkeeper, you know. I know when you look at his other attribute, he's not that great. But for a goalkeeper, right, his attribute for a goalkeeper is amazing. Okay, so when you compare him to George Wickens, right, our, our first choice goalkeeper, George Wickens is better than him. Okay, so, but, you know, but, but, but when you look at the polygon, they have almost similar players you know their quality is almost the same i know the roles that they play is different that could be the reason why their polygon is a little bit uh you know why why george wickens polygon is a little bit better and george wickens actually an overall better goalkeeper okay but you know uh for the start of this season obviously i will be starting george wickens because he's the reason why we actually got promoted from league one okay but josh clark i really i'm really happy to have this caliber of a backup in our team guys seriously he's a good good signing and when you look at him right he's a super consistent player he loves big matches he's only 26 years old we sign him on a three years contract i know he will be with us you know for a long haul but okay so look badly morgan right when you look at him he's not a wow signing okay so he's only a number in our center back position to be honest i was i was actually having trouble you know trying to look for a signing and he was there he was the best option that i could actually sign because as you guys know you know our reputation is not that high. You know, this is the first time in 26 years we are playing in the championship. So it's a little bit harder, you know, for me to sign players. So yeah, he's just there as a number. I really believe, you know, if if there's an emergency, if there's injury crisis to our defensive line, he will be able to do something, something for us. You know, I'm, I'm not going to say a good job, but I, 
I think that he will be able to do something for us. That's all. That's that's the only comment I can actually give it to him. Okay, so guys, we have a new left winger as well. Okay, just now you guys saw that I actually signed Angerin, right? And Brooklyn Fonkwe, I think Fonkyu, I, 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 I think it's Fonkwe, right? I'm just going to call him Brooklyn, guys. Okay, <laughs> okay, so he is going to be, he's going to be basically competing with, you know, Angerin for the left winger position i know you know just now i told you guys you know that we actually have jake young and harrison wood you know to be playing in the you know in the left wing position to be honest i'm actually trying to sell one of them but there's been no takers until now okay so that's why i'm telling you guys it has been super frustrating okay so brooklyn right we actually signed him on a free transfer you know formerly from manchester city who's actually our senior affiliate that's the reason why their name is actually glowed up over here okay so you know after after he was released by Manchester City, he actually joined Everton, but never played for Everton. L oh, actually, last season, he actually made one appearances in the Premier League. You know, it was actually from the bench. But other than that, you know, not really have wowed the footballing world. But when I look at him, right, you know, as a winger on attack, as a winger on attack, right, he, have, he actually have a good attribute, you know, for this position. I know overall, he's not a very great player. You know, but he's only 23 years old. He has a little bit of a potential for him to realize he's a consistent player. And I really believe that he will be able to do a good job as a backup on the left-hand side for us today. All right, so Zach Swanson is going to be our new right-back backup. Okay, he's going to be a backup. He's not going to be a starting starting right-back for us this season, you know. Last season, as you guys know, I actually played Oga, you know, on the right-hand side. But this season, I want to play him on his preferred role on the left-hand side. Okay, so yeah, Oga is actually one of our best players in the club. When you look at him, you know, and he have actually just signed a new contract. He is actually our highest earner in the club, you know, but the only problem is he actually have a minimum fee release clause when you look at this trail. So I really hope, you know, in the future, I'll, I will be able to, you know, give him a better better contract and hopefully, you know, remove the release clause in his contract. He's, he's actually our highest earner, but to be honest, I really believe that he actually have earned that contract from us. Okay, so okay, so back to Zach Swanson, right? He's gonna be a backup to Nathan and Simwe. Okay, we actually signed him on a loan deal. We actually signed him on a loan deal from Portsmouth. Okay, that is a little bit weird. Okay, I'm not sure what I was thinking when I was doing this, uh when I was actually doing this uh this business, but I believe you know, as a backup, right? Zach Swanson can actually be a good player. Okay, so yeah, I think I think he's gonna be at and educate, you know, educate uh, backup for us this season. Okay, I know you guys might be thinking, what am I doing? But to be honest, right, I was actually trying to sign these two, you know, these two right backs, you know, that I was really trying to sign, but they actually opted to go to other championship clubs. So, Zach Swanson was actually the third best option that I actually had, you know. So, there was just nothing I could do about it. Okay, so, as I told you guys, you know, we actually have Manchester City as our senior affiliate, right? So, I've actually got two loan deals from them you know one of one of their players is actually rex yearwood and you know since they are our senior affiliate right, i actually don't have to pay a single amount of salary for them and when you look at this guy he is an amazing ball playing defender okay i know it, it, uh, what it is shown that you know his best role is actually as a libero but i don't play as a league i never played you know libero you know in my team so i'm going to be playing him as a ball winning defender He's right-footed, so he's going to be our right centre-back for this season. You know, we don't have to pay him a single salary, you know. He's in until the end of the season. And I really like the look at him, you know. I, I'm not sure what is going on with his head, you know. He's 20 years old, but he's bald already. So, there is a little bit of a doubt in the camp, you know, that we are not sure whether he's actually 20 years old or not. So, yeah, that... that I really hope that won't be a problem in the future, guys. Okay. All right. So, Sean Kelly is also one of the players that we actually signed from Manchester City. Okay. So, on a loan deal as well, we are not paying him any salary. And he is going to be a backup to Ghassan Ahadme. I, I, I wouldn't say that he's a backup to Ghassan Ahadme. He will be competing with Ghassan on the striking position. So, if you look at him, right? If you look at him, he can actually cover all the three attacking midfielders that we play with as well. But... For the start of the season, he will be competing with Gassan on the striking position. He's an advanced forward. And to be honest, looking at his attribute, right, he is quite good, you know, to play as a striker in the championship. Okay, so yeah, these are the signings that I've done. 
you know if you guys if you guys look at the team you know do let me know what you guys think of the signing you know do let me know the comment you know when you look at the finances over here we actually do have transfer budget and wage budget for me to spend you know i have about you know 600k for me to spend on the wage budget and on the transfer budget you know we have about 2.9 million it is quite healthy it is quite healthy but the problem is our squad have already been bloated enough okay so when you look at this right now right we actually have 29 players in the club I'm actually really seriously guys I'm trying to sell the players that I want to that I want to replace you know but the problem is there's no takers seriously there's no takers you know look at this Luis Richard has been listed you know there's been wanted sign and everything where, but whenever I talk to the whenever I talk to the agent right, there's no offer whenever I whenever I offer them out you know with the likes of Sam Star Luis Richard these are two center backs that are not going to play for us I really want to let them go you know because look at the wages that they are actually earning you know that is about that is almost 500k you know if i can actually sell these two players off right you know we are going to be able to earn about you know 1.9 million close to 2 million and we will be able to free out about 500k i will be able to sign a starting center back for us you know this is a you know also the same as you know jake young harrison wood i'm actually trying to sell this player but there's been no offers it has been such a frustrating transfer window and I really hope, you know, because there's another, you know, 28 more days, right? 28 more days, you know, for the transfer window to shut. I really hope that someone will make an offer for them. All right, guys, so for our first game in the championship here today, we are going to be facing Reading away from home. Okay, so Reading, right, when you look at their media prediction, right, they are supposed to be finishing in the 16th place this season. So they are up and about, you know, in the bottom half. So hopefully, we are going to be able to take advantage, you know, as you guys know, you know, as a newly promoted team, right? our momentum you know our basically our momentum our motivation everything is going to be on a high okay so i know our season preview when i look at it you know it is shown that we are going to get relegated this season okay but you know like i mentioned to you guys you know with our with our momentum on a high right now you know being the you know being the newly promoted team and all we were the champions of league one i really hope you know that since we are going to be facing you know reading in our first game here today and they are supposed to be finishing the bottom half as well i really hope we are going to be able to take advantage of that momentum and beat them today you know 26 years after 26 years we are back in the championship let's come back with a bang let's get a win against reading all right guys so this is the team that i'm going to be feeling against reading it's going to be george weekend in goal our four defenders are going to be oga frankie terry yearwood and nathan simway Howie White and Tom Davis will be our two defensive midfielder. And during Aaron Amze, Kate Gordon will be behind Gassan uh, Hardme as our striker up front. Let's just submit the team and get into the match. All right, guys, so we are going to have our first highlight here. And Howie White is going to be with the possession, passing it towards Oga on the left hand side. Now, Andrew playing it back towards Howie White. Tom Davis to Terry, back to Davis again. Davis trying to lump the ball forward to Kate Gordon, but it is intercepted. And now, Speed Terry playing it towards. Now Gallus for Reading, he took a shot. That was a very good curved shot, but unfortunately, it is off target. All right, guys, it's going to be a corner kick here for Reading. And Elliot is going to try to look for Oliver Casey. Oh my God, Oliver Casey, that was an amazing header by him. And Reading is going to take the lead in the first six minutes of this match. And the scoreline is going to be Reading 1, Bradford City nil. to be honest. Yeah, we should have done better, you know, to defend that corner there just now. And not the start that I was expecting in this game. Okay, now we are going to have a free kick here. Andrew is going to be our free kick taker. Our number seven. Oh my God. Oh my God. I really didn't, I really did not thought that he will be trying from there. You know, he was actually very close to getting it on target. And now, okay, it is a goal kick there just now. Aaron Ramsey trying to lump the ball forward. The sun got into the loose ball. Now, Kate Gordon on the right-hand side. What can he do with the possession? He has two players in the penalty box. A lot more coming behind. You know, Nathan and Sivir won back the possession for us. We might have a chance here. Tom Davies. Tom Davies playing it towards Kate Gordon. He took a shot. Off target again. What are we doing, guys? Seriously. We don't have a single shot on target. If you look at the match stat, right? It has been the 15 minutes. No single shot on target. That is not good enough, guys. Okay. Now, Davies to Gordon. Back to Davies again. Now, Howie White. Oh my god, that was a bad pass to Nathan Asimwe and it has been intercepted by Spiteri. He! Oh my god. After winning that, after winning that interception, right, 
he just dribbled past he just ran towards the penalty box and that is reading's second goal awful back pass by you know how he were i'm not sure what nathan asimwe was doing there as well you know but the but the blame should be ai we should be blaming how he white guys you know for that for that goal considered oh my god you know what you know what i'm going to demand more here you know it's been 28 minute and we are awful in this match and now they have a corner kick you know therefore he scored one goal from the corner and holmes almost making it 3 nil for reading this is not looking good for us guys all right guys so the first half score line is going to be reading to bradford city nil we have actually finally got our shot on target but it was actually even not good enough you know for them to show a highlight on that we are actually controlling the possession i'm going to tell the team that i'm not happy and we are going to start the second half i'm going to start the second half with a shot on demand more hopefully we are going to be able to do something seriously at least score one more goal one goal you know at least you know in this start of the you know at the start of the second half so that we can actually have the confidence of getting back into this match now spiteri playing it towards elliot gallus oh my god it actually hits the crossbar and went out for a goal kick Okay guys, we are going to have a corner kick here. Kawi White trying to look for a hard man in the near post. Yearwood got into the loose ball playing it to Aaron Ramsey. Can he take a shot? It took a shot. It hits the crossbar. Not Terry with a chance for another attacking play and the highlight is going to end. That was our chance to score our first goal in this match and even our first goal in the championship after 26 years. Guys, seriously, I'm not happy with what is going on, you know, with we with the way the team has been playing, you know, in this game when you look at the average rating, right? Everyone is not playing well. You know, Frankie Terry is actually on a, you know, 6.2 average rating. I'm bringing in Zabelli for him. Okay, so when you look at the when when you look at the attacking players, right? Angerin on a 6.3, I'm bringing in, you know, uh I'm bringing in Brooklyn for him. The Sun taking him off for Sean Kelly. Okay, so Oga is on a 6.3 as well. You know, Kate Gordon is on a six point four. Hey, you know what? You know it is the only sixty five minutes right now, right? And I'm gonna change this. Okay, so last season, right? We we used to play, you know, with our with our wing back on attack, and our you know our wingers were you know used to be on support role. So let's just try that and see, you know, if we can actually play better, like how we used to do, you know, since since League Two and in League One as well, because you know getting into Championship, right? and with you know we know with us getting predicted to be you know to be basically finishing in the relegation place i was really you know trying to be a little bit more cautious that was the reason why i actually you know <laughs> why i actually put our you know put our you know wing backs on you know support duty because i was just afraid that we were going to get caught up against the you know against our opponents and everything like but yeah even now things are not looking good for us you know Okay so you know what since we are already losing the match right I'm going attacking okay I'm going to demand more here there's another 10 more minutes to go can we find at least one goal here you know at least score one goal you know just to make it a little bit more closer you know this is the team that we should you know be trying to get a draw against you know because these are the team that are supposed to be finishing the bottom half but looking at it we are going to lose our first match in the championship to nil This is not a good start to the season guys. I know we are supposed to be in the relegation battle but I was just hoping you know for us to ride on our momentum from last season and get a win against Reading. Okay. So yeah, after our first game we are in the 21st position. Oh my god. It is getting a little bit scary, you know. <laughs> I really hope we are not going to get relegated guys. All right guys, so for our next game right, we are going to be facing West Brom Albion in the Carabao Cup first round. Okay, so they are also in the championship this season and you know they have also lost their first match, you know, against Ipswich. So hopefully it is going to be a turn around of our form against West Brom. You know, as you guys you know, you know for the past two season, right, we have actually had a very good run in both of the competition whether it's in the Carabao Cup or in the FA Cup. So hopefully you know this season will be the same for us as well you know i'm going to rest up the team because the game is going to be played another three more days i'm going to rest up the team and i'll see you guys in a bit do not go anywhere guys all right guys so we are going to be facing you know west brom in our home stadium and i really hope this is going to be our improvement to our performance you know compared to our last game oh my god that is not giving me confidence at all you know they almost scored a goal you know in the first minute of the match Seriously that was not good enough 
you know you know what i'm going to encourage the team you know early on in this match and we finally have a shot on target you know in the first 15 minutes that is an improvement to last game okay now tate for west brom playing it to mason back all the way to archer archer lumping the ball forward trying to look for bolton headed clear by yovwood and now gordon is with the possession lost it to lurnardi and avila avila playing it towards upton upton lumping the ball forward trying to look for bolton again and it's been intercepted by Oga. Now the possession is Aaron Ramsey. Awful touch by him. And we have ended up losing the possession. And now the possession is back with us. Seriously, both of the team doesn't want to hold on the possession. You know, looking at the looking at the highlight. And I'm not sure what kind of highlight it's going to be. Yeah, it's going to be an awful shot, you know, by Aaron Ramsey at the end of the highlight. You know, it was a stupidly long highlight and ended up, you know, it actually... Yeah, didn't result into anything. Guys, there's another 5 more minutes left for the first half to end. And to be honest, both of the team are not creating at all. We are controlling the possession. You know, we have 60% of the possession. But, you know, only 2 shots on target. And West Brom only had 1 shot on target with an XG of 0.11. To be honest, you know, it is better than what we actually, you know, perform against Reading. But, yeah, we really need to, we really need to score a goal here, you know. I really hope that Gassan will actually come back to his form, you know that what he had last season, he was actually one of our top goal scorers in the league last season and I just hope that he will be able to do the job in the championship as well. Now, Brooklyn lost the possession to Martin. Oh, awful ball control by him, guys. Now, Lunardi trying to clear the ball. Roberts got into the header now. Brooklyn again, he took a shot. It actually hits the post and went out for a goal. Okay, guys, now the possession is with Brooklyn. Brooklyn lost the possession to Goodrum. Okay, oh my god, awful passing by them. Swanson intercepted the pass, passing it towards Gordon. Gordon now. Oh, he found a pass to Aaron Ramsey. He should have done better. Seriously, I think we are having a little bit of a confidence crisis, you know, because to be honest, right, last season, that was a chance that Aaron Ramsey will score. Okay, and he actually, yeah, he actually missed the chance from that angle. I'm not sure what is going on with the team. Okay, so I'm going to take off Gassan for Sean Kelly. Okay, when you look at the other squad, I know, you know, we are actually playing quite well and all, but yeah, there are some players, you know, that is actually having a booking. So I am actually a little bit afraid. Okay, so what am I going to do is I'm going to take off, you know, Zach Swanson for Ben Jackson. So Oga will be our right back and Ben Jackson will be on the left hand side. And Tom Davis, I'm going to take him off for Bagu Adila. Okay, so I don't want anyone to get, you know, sent off in this game. You know, it has been such a close game. No one have actually scored a goal yet. and West Brom, if you look at the shot on target, they are actually coming back in this match. Okay, now, Ramsey. Ramsey passing it backwards towards Roberts. Roberts now to Frankie Terry. Back to Roberts again. Ben Jackson. Okay, he just came off the bench. Let's see what he can do. Can he create a chance here? He tried to look for Sam Kelly. It actually fell to Ramsey's feet. And he has finally scored our first goal of the season. 70 minutes in. And the scoreline is finally Bradford City 1, West Brom nil. I'm not sure whether that was actually headed down, you know, by Sam Kelly towards Aaron Ramsey. Or was it, you know, headed, was, was that, you know, attempt for a clearance by the defender or anything like that? We will never know, but I'm not going to complain because we are finally in the lead in this match. Okay, now I'm going to take off, you know, Gordon. He's actually tired. I'm going to take him off for injury. Okay, so let's see if there's any play that I can actually bring in, you know, that can actually make some changes for us. Okay, so when I look at this over here, right, you know what, let's take off Oga. Oga is on a 6.7, right, let's bring in Nathan the same way. You know, let's have a little bit of a fresh leg on the fullback position, you know. We brought in Brent Jackson and that actually ended up, you know, uh, yeah, gifting us a goal, right. Who knows, you know, by, you know, by introducing a same way on the right-hand side. We are going to be able to, you know, do the same as well on the from the right hand side. Okay, now that was a great. Oh my God! I think Sean 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 Kelly is offside, but that was an amazing cross by Angerin. You know, our Angerin. You know, from the right hand side, he found Brooklyn and just unfortunate that Sean Kelly was actually offside there. Okay, now the same way with a throw in to Angerin. Okay, Angerin. Oh, he tried to look for a pass to Aaron Ramsey, cleared by. West Brom's defender now. Drossos. Oh my god. Sule is through. True. He's one on one with the keeper. Oh. Lucky for us. Seriously. We were so lucky to not concede there. 
All right, guys, he's going to be Archer with a goal kick for West Brom. He's going to be playing it long, trying to look for Goodrum. Sean Kelly headed it down towards. Okay, I really thought that Brooklyn was going to lose the was going to lose the possession there, but he won it back. Okay, now Terry playing it to a same way, a same way back to Yearwood. Okay, if you look at this right, I don't want to jinx the team, but our defenders are actually playing a very good game here today. You know, Yearwood and Frankie Terry, both of them actually have a seven. 0.1 average rating which is amazing tom roberts with 7.3 aaron ramsey 7.5 brooklyn 7.5 and sean kelly coming off the bench you know he has actually been our best player 7.8 average rating but unfortunately you know he could not score that goal there just now i hope before the end of the match right he is going to be able to score a goal and tom roberts with an amazing shot there he was so unlucky he could not get the shot on target and with that we have actually knocked out west brom from the carabao cup competition to be honest, I'm just happy that we finally have got our first win of the season. So guys, if you've enjoyed the video, please drop a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.